This is the mayor's report for the city of Battle Creek, Michigan. This is the mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banke. Good morning, Battle Creek. Commission meeting this week. The city commission will meet this Tuesday, October 4th at 7 p.m. in the commission chambers, 10 North Division Street in downtown Battle Creek at City Hall. Stop by and hear about upcoming city projects and the latest happenings. There will be an opportunity for public comment at two portions of the meeting uh, before the consent agenda and resolutions not on the consent agenda and also at the end of the meeting. As always, it's great to see everyone so invested in our place that we call home. Next item, um, community of Battle Creek. I'm honored to be part of a great community that comes together in a time of need. We would specifically like to thank those residents providing information through the Silent Observer and the Chamber of Commerce tip line that helped the police department solve a recent case in the city of Battle Creek. Thank you very much for your efforts and concerns in keeping our communities safe. Capitol Avenue Southwest closures extended into October as sewer lining work continues. Drivers on Capitol Avenue Southwest and the old Lakeview area will see additional closures due to a continued project equipment delay. The road closures are part of the project to add a lining to the large sanitary sewer pipe in the east central part of the city. The work will affect Capitol Avenue Southwest, Territorial Road, and Columbia Avenue as follows. Today through Friday, October 7th, local traffic only. The, through local traffic should follow the detour on Columbia Avenue, Riverside Drive, and East Territorial. Today through October 7th, Highland Avenue is closed from Fairfield Avenue to Wentworth. Next item is very important, free scrap tire collection. There'll be two scrap tire events coming up, October 5th. That is Wednesday, I believe. The city will be hosting their event at the Department of Public Works, 150 South Kendall Street. You can bring your tires there from three to six. And if I were you, I would get there early. Um, this trailer is gonna fill up very quick like. Um, I wanna thank everyone at the Department of Public Works who works overtime to uh, coordinate these free, free scrap tire collections. Um, you can bring long more tires, passenger vehicle tires, semi tires and motorcycle tires are welcome. That's probably the first time I've seen that. Um, limit 10 per vehicle tires that are will not be accepted are tires on rims, tractor tires, bicycle tires, and commercial tires. October 24th, Kelm County will be hosting an event at the Deconcha Village office, 537 North Church Street from 12 to five. The event may end early if the trailer is full, just like in Battle Creek. You must be a Calhoun County resident. Just as a reminder, all tires must be residential. It means no business or farm tires. Passenger vehicles without the rims will be accepted. They'll be limited to 10 scrap tires per vehicle. And uh, I look forward to um, seeing that trailer fill up pretty quick like on Wednesday at the Department of Public Works. And once again, I'll go through the time so everyone has it. Uh, 150 South Kendall Street, Kitty Corner from the Fire Hub. Uh, 3 to 6 p.m., get there early uh, if you really want to get rid of your tires. Duncan Aviation. The city of Battle Creek is excited to celebrate the newest expansion of Duncan Aviation later this week. We are thrilled to see Duncan Aviation continue to grow here in our Battle Creek community and are grateful for all their investments into the past several decades. You bring prosperity to the people of Battle Creek. Once again, thank you very much, Duncan Aviation. Faith in Blue, Battle Creek Police Department. October 8th from 12 to 6 p.m. at Claude Evans Park, located at 300 North Washington Street, police and clergy come together to help unify the community. There will be an open discussion with the police department leadership and the community, along with games like basketball and yard games. Donut and Beer Festival. On October 8th from 1 to 5 at Marshall Community Credit Union Field in Battle Creek, that's the old seal old Brown Stadium, home of the Battle Jacks baseball team. Team ownership will be hosting a fun event that will include one of a kind donuts, craft beers, ciders, live music, and fun activities. This event is for all ages and will include non-alcoholic cider tickets. Tickets are now on sale, but you better order now because the event will has been sold out for the past four years. Visit www.donutandbeerfest.com for more information. Once again, thank you for the Battlejacks for putting on this special event. 
household hazardous waste. Calhoun County will be hosting a household hazardous waste collection on October 10th from 2.30 to 5.30 at Bailey Park in the lot south of the C.O. Brown Stadium at 1350 Capitol Avenue Northeast. A list of accepted items and those items not accepted can be found on the Calhoun County website at calhouncountymi.gov forward slash departments forward slash recycling and solid waste forward slash events PHP. Now I will repeat that because I'm sure no one was able to write that down. But um, this is dealing with the household hazardous waste and all items that, and those that are not accepted can be found on the Calhoun County website at calhouncountymi.gov forward slash departments forward slash recycling and solid waste forward slash events dot php. If uh, you cannot find that, I would call the Calhoun County and speak to someone in the recycling or sustainability department. Uh, a good number to call be 269-781-0706 and ask to be transferred to that department. Battle Creek Restaurant Week. We are excited to announce that the inaugural Battle Creek Restaurant Week will take place October 10th through 14, 2022. Battle Creek Restaurant Week will give the local food lovers the opportunity to enjoy the great offerings of local participating restaurants. By supporting local restaurants, you are supporting Battle Creek's hospitality industry, industry as well as stimulating business and revenue for restaurants throughout the community. Participating restaurants will have a highlight of a variety of culinary menus from casual to fine dining. Visit Battle Creek restaurantweek.com for a list of participating restaurants as well as their menus. On October 14th, 5 to 9, there'll be a night of market closing celebration. Several local food trucks will gather for an end of the season food truck rally. They will be featuring their amazing artisan and farm vendors. There will be live music court, uh, courtesy of the Fat Animals and the Van Dyke Review. Yoga at the Lila Arboretum. Overdance Yoga and Lila Arboretum will continue to offer outdoor yoga this fall. Each drop-in class is $10, no registration needed. Classes will be held October 11th and October 18th. Save that date. October 21st from 4 to 7 will be the Art Walk, Fall into the Arts. There will be a pumpkin giveaway, scarecrow row, and food trucks. Organizers are currently seeking artists and venues. Visit battlecreek.org for the entry form. Once again, we want to mention the Holy Cross exhibit at the Art Center. There's still time to go see. It'll go, be going on to the end of October. This is the Mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banke. Thank you very much for listening, and please have a great remainder of the day and the weekend.